Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. My name is Mr. Plague and welcome back to Juniors. Alrighty, we are in the final run. We are on finally night six. So in the last episode, we finally beat night four and five. So that means we're left with night six because obviously these games never end on night five. Although this one doesn't say five nights at anything. It's just Juniors. So I really can't say anything about this one. Also, in the last episode, we got to see, finally, that the Mangle is here. The Mangle is assembled. They are here. So, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. I haven't even looked at, I haven't even touched Night 6. I've been scared and nervous because I don't know what to expect. Because now the Mangle is here, but what does that mean? Like, what's going to happen? Is there is the night going to be faster? Is it What's going to happen? That's the question. So, we're about to find out. So, I'm not going to stretch it out anymore, I'm just going to head right into it. Also, if you liked the video, please give it a like, and hey, maybe even subscribe if you'd like to. Hit the bell notification if you'd like to be informed whenever I upload a new video. Alrighty, let's go into it. What the hell is all that about? Anything change here? Paul Cave. Oh, I I didn't see that before. Uh oh, those things are still there. All right. Uh, shit. What the? That's new. Okay. Um. Hey, Paul Bear. Ready to venture into the unknown? Yeah, I guess so. Yeah. The door will lead you straight to the center of the basement. That's where you'll find the ghost. Oh, that's where we'll find our ghost. Now I took a peek and scouted out the basement while you were doing your investigation. And what did you find? Well, from that I could make out, it seems the ghost has turned in, has turned the basement into their own little game. Oh, okay. What does that mean then? I say we go along with whatever game the ghost is trying to play with us and trap her by surprise. Right, so basically it's its own now little game. Trap her here, along with other corrupt spirits. Let them rot, as I have for centuries. Alright, it's a little bit ominous. So, do we go towards the door now? Oh, yep, alrighty. Uh, anything else? Oh, that is... Mm, okay. Uh, anything else that we need to check here? Anything else? Um, this carrot... Carrot craze? Nothing? Nope. Okay. Uh, alright. I guess let's head into it. Oh, there, there's some of the original drawings from like back in the day. Oh. Oh, shit. We have withered animatronics? Use AWS. Oh! Holy shit! We're in FNAF too. What the? Whoa! 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 Oh fuck! We're in FNAF too. Oh no. Oh no, what the fuck? What the fuck? What the fuck? What am I doing? Oh no. No! Fuck, what the fuck? What the hell? Don't forget to want We're in FNAF 2 now. Holy fucking shit! Wait. So, here's the music box? Oh my god, we're in FNAF 2! Oh my god, this is- Oh fuck! Okay. Who else is here? Is it just- No, camera disabled. Oh shit, that music box goes down way too fast. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Holy shit, I was not expecting this. I actually wasn't expecting this, because... Like... Ah! 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 Okay, this is all new for me. Ah, oh, fuck! It doesn't matter. I'm gonna die. Oh! Okay. I need a second. Holy shit, what is happening? Don't let them see you without the mask. Holy shit, so... Now it, it all went... Now it's all... Everything we learned, it's just thrown to the garbage now. Because now... Now we're in FNAF 2. Now we're doing FNAF 2. Alright, let me read. Uh, key space. Uh, space in the price corner camera. Okay. <sighs> Quickly, let's rewind the box. So... Straight up... Straight up, there's just... Oh no. Oh no no. Oh, oh, oh fuck. Oh shit, we have limited bat <gasps> Hey buddy, how you doing, bud? Did I ever tell you how cool you looked? What the fuck was that? We had to survive till 6 a.m. I I see it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Okay. okay. So, if it works like FNAF 2, that means it has some of the same mechanics. Right? So, that means that I only have to worry about the music box and just not getting caught by the animatronics. Right? Oh my god, this is hard. This is gonna get intense now. Wait a minute, I heard that. I heard that. You don't fool me. Is he there? Oh, Foxy! Do I got a flash at you? You work exactly like the Foxy in FNAF 2. Oh, oh, no, oh, I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I'm fucked. I am fucked. I am so screwed. Well, it doesn't matter. I'm about to get jump scared anyway. Crap, this is see balloon baby in the left band camera. Put on your mask. Oh in the camera itself. Oh wait, are the things to the side monitors or are they like the vents? Well so the atmosphere is just creepy by itself. No, they're vents by themselves. Okay. Hey Bonnie, is there anyone here? No. Holy shit. Okay. So, all we have to worry about is just the music box and that's it. We don't have to- oh. I'm gonna put on the mask just in case. Oh, oh, oh shit! Oh, don't tell me that was too late. Don't tell me that was too late. I messed up, didn't I? I fucked up so bad. I fucked up horribly. Well, doesn't matter. Bonnie, you can take me. Oh, crap. Jesus Christ. Okay, I think we need a second to assess the situation. We're in FNAF 2. I know I've been repeating that a lot. Sorry about that. Okay. This is a much more intense version than FNAF 2, I'll tell you that. So, it works like FNAF 2. You only have to worry about one camera, and that is the puppet camera. Just make sure the music box is wound up. I'm guessing... Balloon Baby... Not Balloon Baby, uh... Just these animatronics are the only ones we have to worry about? And I imagine they'll work also like FNAF 2, where they'll pull down your camera sometimes. So if that happens, I guess um, that works, because that way you can just simply pull down the mask immediately. But also, there is Foxy, so I don't know if Foxy works the same way as he did in FNAF 2. Oh man, this is gonna suck. 
This is much more creepy than FNAF 2, I'll tell you that. Like, FNAF 2 does not compare to this. Even though FNAF 2... Oh, it's Chica, holy crap. FNAF 2 does not compare to this, I'll tell you that. Even though FNAF 2 is arguably my favorite. I don't know if he'll come into the room or if I gotta flash him. Okay. Immediately after he gets out, I need to fucking look. No, no. Ooh, ooh, that was close. That was close. Ooh. Okay, I have some time. I have some time. I have some time. Oh, oh. Okay. This is just intense. Jesus Christ. Okay. Foxy just got a flash in my imagine. Same as in normal uh, FNAF 2. This is so fuck. I am screwed. I'm so screwed. Come on! Oh no, not the puppet. Uh, you can take. Oh my God, Chica! What the hell happened to you? Oh, Jesus. Okay, let's try that again. Fuck. Okay, so far. So good, I want to say. Okay. Chica, that's fine. I have time, I have time. So far, it's so good. I've gotten in a, in a little bit of a cycle where if I simply do it every single couple seconds where I wound up the music box and just hi, just immediately put on the mask. Oh shit, Fox is there. I don't know if you work the same as normal, Foxy. Ah, wind up. Okay. He's gone. So, I don't know if some of the mechanics are the same as FNAF 2. Fuck! Ooh, God. Uh, at least it's a little bit forgiving, because back in FNAF 2, it would be unforgiving if he didn't put on the mask in time. Also, I'm not used to using spacebar for the mask, because usually... You just, you just uh, pull down the mask by your mouse. Oh, okay, Foxy. Go away. Go away, Foxy. Okay, we're at 1 a.m. The, also, the battery on the... On the fucking... On the flashlight, it goes down really quickly. So, that's a thing that I have to worry about. It said something about the price corner. I forgot what it said. So... Uh, probably the marionette. Probably said something about the marionette, so I just gotta worry about that. The oh, hell? What? Have you seen Balloon Baby in the left vent camera? Put on your mask. What? But he wasn't. Do I have to actually check the camera? What the hell? Okay, okay, how did Foxy attack me? Because I flashed a light on him. Is Am I not supposed to? Like, oh boy, okay. Let's get back into it. Hey, that's pretty cool. You can, uh, you can squish the nose of the little Freddy. Oh, fuck, okay. He'll be in soon. Freddy's there. I just have to make sure I press this, the space bar in a time. Oh, like that. Right that, like that. Hey, Freddy, how you doing, bud? You all messed up? You look a little bit, um, different than before? Hello? Imagine that's Bloom Baby talking. Oh, fuck. Scary when it does that. Fuck! They can go one after another? Well, that's a little bit unfair, don't you think? There's that. I heard laughing, which I'm not a big fan of. Hey, Foxy. Hey, 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 hey. How you doing, buddy? Whoa, no! 
Oh, don't tell me that was... Don't tell me that was slow. Oh, oh, Freddy. Freddy, get out. I need you to get out. I need you to get out. Come on. Oh! Oh, sorry. That was so close. That was so close. Okay. That was way too close. And make sure this wound up full the entire time. Ooh. Make sure that doesn't happen as I'm pulling up the camera. If it does, then I get instantly jump scared. Jesus Christ. Okay. Uh, also, I gotta admire some of the detail put into this. Oh! Chica. Chica, Chica, Chica. Hey! Okay. So, I'm noticing... Oh, oh, oh. Fuck, I need to get this mask off quickly. Come on, come on, come on. No! Oh, fuck. Uh, it doesn't matter. Well, at least I can test a little bit how much time I have. It doesn't matter anymore. Hey, fuck, see how you do it. <sighs> okay. So, I gotta... I basically have to... I need to have the music box wound up at all times, almost at the top, because sometimes they'll fucking just come in one after another. So, I guess that's the strategy for now. Ah! What the fuck? What the f- How? How? How, 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 how? What's Baloo? What? Huh? Yeah? Yeah, I'm just doing the video! I got jump scared! How do you if you seen balloon baby in the bed there was no balloon baby how was i supposed to take care of balloon baby when balloon baby wasn't there oh boy all right
Okay. Full concentration mode. Now. Holy shit, Chica, you look messed up. Okay, so Balloon Boy, Balloon Baby is supposed to appear in the left vent. Yet, whenever I try to, he never does. So, with Foxy, I don't know any other mechanic but the ones I already know from FNAF 2. How, what am I supposed to do against Foxy when it comes to him? Because, as uh, some of you may know, Foxy, the way you could tackle him back in FNAF 2 was flashing the light on him because the mat is, didn't work on him. So, you had to use the flashlight to confuse him in a certain way. basically have to confuse him by shining your light at him. But here, I've been shining my light at him, and he doesn't... He doesn't go away. He doesn't... In fact, he jump scares me. I don't know how is that working. Okay, let me flash... Oh! Oh, is that it? Just spamming? Is that what I'm supposed to do? Just spam my... Oh, Jesus Christ. Just spam my flashlight until he leaves? Ready. Just gotta keep this wound up. Make sure it, you know, it doesn't mess me up. Jesus Christ, Chica. Also, I gotta. I love. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. you, 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 get out, get out, get out, get out. Shoot, shoot. Oh, that wastes a lot of flashlight, though. That wastes a lot of flush, like... Okay. Shit. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. We got this. We got this. Go in there. Just gonna keep my... Just gonna keep my mouse on this. Just gonna keep my mouse on this. It's cool. Okay. Chica. Fine. That's fine. Go away. Go. Shoot. 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 Leave. Okay. God, that's intense. Okay. So, it's it's pretty easy enough. It's pretty self-explanatory. Just spam your flashlight at him and you'll leave. But still, that- Oh! Okay. Freddy, I, I can't really see what's messed up with you. I probably could earlier, but I couldn't actually pay attention. Chica, you just- you just look messed up. Jesus Christ, what happened to your cupcake? Okay. Fudge! 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 Oh, I need, I, oh, I need to flash the hallway real quick and see if Fox is there. He is. Flash, 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 flash. Go away, go away, go away. Shoot, shoot. Good boy. Off! Oh, Fudge. Come on, leave. What the? Conveyor belt, beware the mangle. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. You know you can't beat. What? What? Game? Oh, Christ almighty, what am I supposed to do? The time stopped! Is that... Oh, Christ almighty. This almost feels like a goddamn boss fight. Wait, are those the parts to a sim- Oh! It took parts from the animatronic. That's why they're all messed up. That's why they're withered. It took parts from the animatronics. Holy- What the frick? Gage? Uh, tip, the mango is here. Watch out for her owl tail. 
She will use it to look into your office from the vents. Put on the mask, uh, flash her in the hallway if she's there. Find the ghost in the cameras and hold the light on her. Okay. So do we have to worry about... Do we have to worry about the freaking... Is it, is it here? Is it here? No. Uh, is the owl tail here? No. Okay. Just... Uh, wait. Something here? Something here? No. Oh! What the? That... What the hell is happening? Okay, she will break cameras and eventually your light. Okay. Thank you. What... What the... What am I supposed to do? Put on my mask? Oh, there it is. It, it broke my camera, didn't it? It broke my flashlight. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. I'm, I'm screwed, aren't I? What am I do? What do I do? What do I do? Oh, why is there eyes? Why is there eyes looking at me? What do I do? What? Oh, that's where the hand is! I can't do anything. Ah! Oh, Jesus Christ, the mangle isn't joking around. Oh my god. What? This game just throws left, right, center, front, back, up, down curveballs at you. Jesus Christ. It's gonna start me from the beginning. Ah, it will. Okay, we're back at it. Jesus Christ. Okay, we're back at this. 2.32. I imagine it's by the 2.30s when it starts. Don't make this more difficult than it has to be. Beware the mangle. You know you can't be here. Jesus Christ. Okay. God, this is creepy. This is a creepy introduction. I'm not gonna lie. Hey, look. You can see Foxy, Chica, Bonnie. Ready? Yeah, I imagine that's Freddy. Alright, time for this cool intro. Okay. Right, game on, bitch. Let's go at it.
God damn it. Ugh. It's trying to concentrate and hear if I can hear anything or any calling card if the hand is there. <sighs> Use your light mangle if she ever appears. Oh, she was in the hallway. Ugh. All right, let's try that again. Wait a minute. What? We get to start from here? Oh, thank Christ almighty we get to start from here. Okay. Gotta find that hand. But also at the same time, gotta beware her owl thing. And? You there? No. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, the owl. Hey, how you doing, Mrs. Owl? Okay, she's not in the hallways. Oh, sorry, caps lock. Okay, gotta look for that hand. Wait, here? No? Is it? Ah! Ah! Oh, that got me. God damn. Where does it? Okay, how and where? Okay. I didn't see Mangle, her owl probably popped back in. Okay. So, three things to keep in mind. Mangle, she appears in the hallway, flash her. The owl, her owl, if the owl pops up, put on your mask and find the ghost hand. Fla keep your flash on it, okay. So, this is fucking bullshit. <laughs> Was it the owl? Was it? It was the owl, wasn't it? No, she was in the hall. How? How was she in the hallway? I checked, didn't I? Or at least I didn't. Maybe I didn't check one. Okay, let's check that again. Wait, 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 wait. there's something there. There was something there. Wasn't there? She's not in the hallway. There. Here. Oh! Why, owl? Owl. Oh, su puta madre. It was an owl. It was the owl. Okay, so, owl. Keep that in check. Make sure that's in check. Okay, so, from what I saw last time. There was a little, like, an indication, a little indication thing, talking about, like, oh, right here, I hear something. There was a little indication thing, talking about, like, ooh, I see you, you don't fool me. Uh oh, what, 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 okay, that's just, that's just you pulling more bullshit. Is there anything around here? No. Oh! Oh! The hand was there. The hand was there. Ah. Uh, okay. So it doesn't put an indication mark. It just simply lets you guess which... You need to guess which one it is and start looking around.
scary. Okay. Go away. Okay, so she will appear at one point. Fuck. Okay. Oh no. She broke my light. She broke my light. She broke my light. I am screwed, aren't I? I am screwed. Oh hell. Five. Five a.m. It is five a.m. though, so I can rely on that. I can rely on the fact that it is five a.m. Five, five a.m. Okay. Come on. Come on. Come on. Shit. Come on. I just hope the mangle doesn't come through the hallway. If she does, I'm screwed. I just need. Ah, I just need a little bit more. I can't do anything on the cameras. She broke my fucking flashlight. Okay. Just as long as the as okay, 47. Okay. Close. 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 10 more seconds. 10 more seconds. Come on. 5 4 3 2 1 I did it. I did it! <laughs> oh, hell no. Okay. Let me in. Oh. Okay. Uh, no. I will not let you in. Was that it? Oh no, what happened? We good? We are dizzy, confused, looking everywhere? Whoa! I'm back! She must have gotten into my head. Paul Bear. Where are you? Please, don't hurt me. No! I knew you were here all along. While you were sitting here behind that costume, I was waiting. Waiting so patiently for another one of your little puppets to look where they weren't supposed to. Once I'm done with you, I'm going to take your little puppet and split his skull. Oh shit, please don't do that. Not this time. He's different. Oh really? Let me ask you this. What makes you think he will be able to revenge your spirit now? This. It's done. Oh shit, we straight up stabbed her. After five years, Juniors would later reopen. Okay. It would go over heavy rebranding as some still have somewhat negative impression of the company. Oh, wait a minute, that sounds familiar? Fast Bear Entertainment is now more committed than ever to family fun and above all safe. Wait a minute, this is what this is what the phone guy said. They spent a small fortune on these new anime. <gasps> this is how we start night one in FNAF 2. This is how we start. Anyways, Jeremy, when do you- wait, what? What did that say? Wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What did that say? Jeremy? I'm so confused that- So we beat- we beat the knight, we got- we trapped the spirit in our mind, place, something. And that's the end, Hold, holy shit! We did it! Created by Raminov and Derek. 
<laughs> Paul Bear inside the little Bonnie costume. Well, goddamn. That was it. <laughs> Schnoz. Well, goddamn. So, that was it. That was... That was Junior, so... We finally caught the spirit. And we stabbed her, I imagine? We took care of her? Polly? I imagine that Paul Bear's a uh, girlfriend? <laughs> that, that's funny. Um, so... Was that really it? They can't be just it, right? I imagine it has, you know... Like... Wait a minute. Isn't this the speed motorist, midnight motorist song, like tune, from that little arcade game in FNAF 7? It is! Holy crap! Okay, don't know what. Wait, no, that makes sense because in Midnight Motorist, you find juniors. Finally. Thank you, Scott, for changing. Oh. Thank you, Scott, for changing all of our lives. There it is. There's Juniors. That's the first time you've ever seen Juniors. And now it's closed. Wow. The end. Is there going to be a question mark around there? Maybe? Yes? No? Maybe so? No? That... That's it. Hey! We got a little star! Continue free mode. Oh! Oh! I don't know if I want to go into free mode. Extra shifts and extras. Oh! Crap! I don't know if I want to do free mode or extra shifts, but... I think I can leave those for another day. Let's... Let's check the exit, but first, alright, so we took care of the ghost, basically that spirit was the spirit inhabiting, like, all the animatronics that, the one who was possessing the animatronics in the first place, and after finally being able to rebuild a vessel for it, the mangled basically, it was able to come basically attack us, because it didn't want us investigating, or because maybe it didn't want us there? Or didn't want us getting rid of it, maybe. Holy crap, okay. Uh, let's check the extras. Oh, okay, Freddy Fazbear. This iteration of Freddy is much taller and lankier than most. He's rocking his iconic top hat and bow tie, but both are outfitted with played material. Oh, okay. Uh, Bonnie the Bunny. Similar to Freddy, this iteration of Bonnie is much lankier than most other designs. He's been given a pair of stylish glasses and his color has shifted from dark indigo to a teal-ish shade of blue. Scary as hell. Chica the Chicken. This iteration of Chica is themed not around food, but sleeping. She dons a nightgown, a sleeping cap, and her cup cake, cup, uh, cupcake has a binky. How adorable? That's pretty cool. Foxy the pirate, holy crap, looking you up close, you look... Ugh. Foxy the pirate, the pirate-themed iteration of Foxy is withered to maintain that iconic look that everyone loves. Yeah, everyone loves that, uh, that withered Foxy. We wanted to push that theme a little further with the inclusion of lots of piercings. That's pretty cool. Balloon baby, oh my god, ugh. Oh, you look ugly as hell. Jesus Christ, looking you up close, you look fugly. Jesus Christ, you have a little flag on top of your little paracopter hat thing. God, you're ugly. This iteration of Balloon Boy isn't a boy at all. He's actually a baby, hence the name. His face was made more doll-like to match the eerie vibe of the rest of the character cast. As always, he's holding his balloons and wearing his iconic propeller hat. That's pretty cool. But, God, they, they they hit the mark when they made him eerie and unnerving. The marionette. Oh, why did they give it ears? 
With her lengthy, spindly body, this iteration of the marionette puppet is more ragdoll-like. She's also been giving a nose and a set of ears to add the creepy doll look. That made her so iconic in Five Nights at Freddy's 2. Ugh, okay. Withered Freddy. Oh, okay. Withered body. Holy crap, you got the worst of it. Withered Chica, during the final act in Junior's, Chica jaw, Chica's jaw was torn apart and ripped open. Much like her design in Fighters of Freddy Sue, she probably got the most damage out of the entire animatronic cast. Poor Chica. Poor me, I had to deal with her. We can also see they also put attention to detail with, you know, leaving her handless. That's really handy. They also put Let's Eat. They changed her nightgown by putting her, like, with the bib. And Withered Foxy, in Junior's final act, Foxy takes quite the beating, his left ear is completely torn off, however, he has already pretty, he was already pretty withered to begin with. Yeah, he was already fucked up, it's not like you can fuck him up more. Withered Balloon Baby, god, he looks even worse somehow. Withered Marionette, Jesus Christ. In Junior's final act, the Marionette's face is completely shattered by Mangle, revealing her horrific of the <laughs> her horrific visage and finally the mangle in junior's final act the mangle is absolutely giant over time the ghost haunting juniors built it as her final form using different pieces of animatronic endoskeletons to create this monstrosity during the final act all of the withered animatronics hop on a conveyor sacrificing themselves to finish the mangle Oh, that's what they did. So they straight up tried to help the Mangle by sacrificing themselves, basically dismantling themselves. Oh my god, the ghost. The ghost is the main antagonist of Juniors, as well as the one responsible for all the havoc. She appears to have a very strong connection to Paul Bear, seeking to erase him during the game's final act. Thankfully, you make it out alive and manage to free Paul Bear, trapping the ghost inside the Barrens for the rest of her days. Oh, God, she's creepier than... She's creepier in 3D than in 2D. Paul Bear, hey, we already know you. Paul Bear is the player's lovable and jolly friend that provides company in the campaign of juniors. Yeah, we already knew that about him. And that's it. Holy crap. Hey, that's all the character. What's behind the scenes? Oh, here's a closer look into how each character went through the modeling process. That's Freddy at the beginning, all Chuck E. Cheese-like. And there he is with almost no neck and all fucked. <laughs> he went from a jolly Chuck E. Cheese-looking guy to immediately looking like right now. God, that's horrible. That's the modeling process for Freddy, how he looks. And there he is. Holy crap. That was... That's impressive. There's, like, legs, feet. I imagine the endoskeleton under... Wow, they went above and beyond to make even the endoskeleton look. Also, that's that's something I didn't get to talk that much about. But, basically, all the animatronics... There's Bonnie, in case you want to watch it. All the animatronics look so hyper-realistic. They all look like an actual animatronic. Like, they look like something that would, you know, be in, like... A pizzeria or like something in like you know a haunted place or showbiz pizza or something like that all of them look so creepy <laughs> like they all look so hyper realistic and so uncanny valley oh god chica you look terrifying there wow okay foxy uh there's foxy at the beginning he looks identical to how he looks right now holy crap all of this was made in Blender, by the way, which is more than impressive. Like, all of this is more than impressive as it is. Wow. There's Foxy. There there he is with his pants and everything. Oh, this Foxy has pants and everything. He has legs. It's not like the other one that had, like, little metal rods for legs. Holy crap. All right, BB. Oh god, it looks horrible. Oh god. Oh god. No, let's get through this one quickly. Ugh. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, that's that doesn't look right. Oh my god, that does not look right. That looks be Oh god, that looks even worse. Oh god, that's creepy. All right. Marionette. Uh no, Marionette. Ooh, she looks uh 
Oh, I don't like that. I don't like that. <laughs> oh, God, that's horrible. Oh, my God. Let's see Mangle. Ooh, okay. That's how she went through all the things. So, similar look to Foxy, just different style, I guess. And, of course, her being ginormous and basically di wide. There's the owl, that fucking little thing. <laughs> That's how they mapped her out. Wow. Oh, Christ. The ghost. Oh, she was just made as a normal looking kid. Ooh. Okay. Oh. <laughs> we we went from we went from okay, kind of looking like Michael Myers looking thing to Okay, that looks eerie to straight up nightmare feel. Jesus Christ. She kind of reminds me of Evie from uh, Resident Evil 7. She kind of looks a lot like her. Well, just a little. Alright, scrap content. Uh, here's a closer look at the good majority of scrap content. Uh, scrap men- this was gonna be the original menu, holy crap. The office. Turned around. Oh, you could turn around in the beginning. Early camera test, scrap Foxy platformer minigames, old camera feed, old ventilation interface, oh my god, this could have been much more difficult and technical than it was. Old tablet interface, Freddy in office, old tablet interface number two, huh, infrared, oh, that would have been cool yet horrible, <laughs> scrap mangle level, scrap lore interface. Camera feed three. Wow, this this is all pretty interesting. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. So now that I have the time, I actually wanted to talk about something, and that is basically where we are right now in the story. Basically, of FNAF. This almost, you know, it's obviously not canon to FNAF itself to the FNAF lore, but secrets that we hide. Okay. Um. But basically, <laughs> little Funko. But basically, um, this takes place in what originally became f f the second pizzeria. Because in the first pizzeria, oh, that's some cool fan art. In the first pizzeria, basically, you know, it was all fucked up because, you know, the murders happened. And people were like, you know, we don't like this. A lot of shit has happened there. Um, basically, we don't want to look at this. We don't want to be here anymore. So, the company, Fazbear Entertainment, decided to do as many of us thought, make an entire new... Ooh, that's so cool. Uh, but they decided to make an entirely new, like, pizzeria. New, revamped, and everything with almost the same theme, but same, you know, with different animatronics. That's how we got FNAF 2 with Toy Chica, Bonnie, Freddy, you know, the Withered. Oh, God, that's horrible. <laughs> oh, Lego. So, that's how we got it, but here, basically, it was almost its own thing, maybe? Or I might be getting it wrong, but basically, it's... The way this worked is that Fazbear Entertainment straight up revamped this whole place. It was its own pizzeria, it was its own thing, until Fazbear Entertainment straight up bought it. And it all makes sense now, because many thought, like, okay, if... No, Juniors is there. Like, what does that mean? Like, what does it mean towards the series? What does it mean towards the lore about it? Basically, that means that... Oh, my God. Basically, it all has to do with, you know... Fazbear Entertainment buying it out and making new things out of it. Because it makes sense now why the Withered animatronics are now here all Withered. Because many thought it was just, you know, people using... Basically, it was the FNAF, you know, Fazbear Entertainment using old parts from, like, the original animatronics to basically make the new ones. But now it makes sense that here in this continuity, the animatronics were all messed up already because the mangle was there already. And because the mangle was there, basically it took apart everything, became its own thing, and once it got defeated, Fazbear Entertainment came in and revamped everything. So, I, I really don't know where I'm going with this. I just, you know, my whole has jumbled right now. But honestly, 
all I gotta say right now is that I am happy we are done. We are officially done with Juniors. <sighs> there was This was an amazing game. I, I'm sorry I haven't given my thoughts so far with the game. Like, I've been talking more about the lore and all this shit, but... I am so happy about Juniors. This was an amazing experience. It's a FNAF game. It's a FNAF fan game that has gone above and beyond with some of the things that it does, with some of the mechanics. The mechanics, yes, they can be tedious at times, but they are, I can say unique, because, you know, it it follows a different formula. It doesn't, you know, do the usual formula of close left door, close right door, put on mask, no. It does that at the end, yes, but it follows a different mechanic, and then it introduces you to new things. And then it gives you an amazing, I can say, boss fight? An amazing boss fight where basically you tackle on this one enemy that's a presence throughout the whole place and it's unnerving it's it's pretty challenging so definitely this game guys give it a try it's free on game jolt you can look it up on gauge Jolt. just look up juniors but honestly it was amazing thanks so much to the team who developed juniors who made juniors kudos to you so many kudos and Obviously, we gotta thank Scott Coffin. Thank you so much, Scott. If it wasn't for you, many of these games wouldn't exist, especially something as spectacular as this. So thank you so much. And honestly, thank you so much to everyone who watched this series. Thank you so much to all of you for supporting me throughout this series. And honestly, I had lots of fun doing this. We'll probably do extra shifts as an extra video some of the time soon. So, for now, don't count on it being, like, something immediate. But, yeah. That's it for Juniors. So, now I can say, thank you so much, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you liked it, leave a like. And, hey, maybe even subscribe if you'd like to join my channel. If you'd like to be notified whenever I upload a new video, hit the bell notification. And, hey, we are almost at one at 1,000 subscribers. And we get to 1,000 subscribers. If we get to 1,000 subscribers, I promise y'all, we will be getting a special surprise. So, let's get that goal. Alright then. Well, without further ado, thanks so much. I hope you all have a wonderful day, slash night. I'll see you all later. Goodbye!